Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to convert fractions as a decimal and as well as a percentage. So without further ado, let's get started. Right, so the first thing we're going to be doing is looking at how to convert these uh, fractions into a decimal and then we'll actually look at percentages. So if you look at 3 over 10, um, of course, you, if you have a calculator, you can just put that in the calculator straight away. Um, so you could just go, uh, where are we going? We're going to go into calculate mode. We're going to put in 3 over 10. And when we do this, uh, these calculators actually give it to you, give the answer in a fraction. But if you click on shift equals, uh, that gives you 0 0.3. Now, if you are like, you know, want to learn this, how to do uh, a quicker way without having to use the calculator, what you look at is look at the number of zeros that are actually coming at the bottom uh, number. And mainly it only works with uh, 10, hundreds, thousands, and so on. Uh, I have a, another video that shows how to convert fractions into decimals um, when it's 10, 100, and 1,000. Um, I might try and link it later, but otherwise, uh, so when we have three over 10, we are actually gonna write this as 0 0.3. Um, and again, like I'm just gonna do another quick example right next to it. If I had three over 100, then because it's got two zeros, 0 0.03, so it's, it's basically, how much uh, how many places is the decimal point actually moving so if i look at 3 over 1000 so 3 over 1000 would actually equal to 0 0.003 and again three zeros uh, the decimal point is actually moving three spaces so how do we convert now a decimal into percentage or a fraction into percentage all you have to do is anytime you want to convert it into a percentage you just multiply the number by 100 so 3 over 10, I'm going to take 3 over 10, and I'm going to multiply it by 100. Now, if you've been following my video series, then you know that um, 100 could be written as 10 times 10. Uh, so I could write this as 3 times 10 times 10 times 10. And what we can do is cancel one of the 10s, and what you're left over with is just 30. So this actually becomes 30%. Alternatively, you could take 0 0.3 and multiply it by 100. So the rules for converting fractions and decimals to percentages is pretty much the same, multiplied by 100. So we're gonna do 0 0.3 times 100. Uh, and what's gonna happen is, again, this, this kind of is connected, right? Because like we can actually write down 0 0.3 times 100 is 30. So again, if you're multiplying by 100, you, if you remember that you would actually move the decimal point uh, two spots to the right. So that's kind of what's happening here. So if you think about it, because of that 100, the decimal point is actually starting from 0 0.3 and it's going across to make it 30. Of course, you can actually do it in the calculator as well because you could actually go 0 0.3 uh, multiplied by 100 and that's going to give you 30%. Okay, so this is when your denominators are multiples of 10. But what about when you have 4 over 5? So the first thing we want to do is we want to convert this so that the denominator is... Um, 10 or 100 and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the denominator by 2 and also multiply the numerator by 2. And when I do this, I'm going to get 4 times 2, which happens to be 8, and then 5 times 2, which happens to be 10. So I've got 8 over 10, which is a fraction, and if I want to convert this to decimal, I look at the number of zeros in my denominator, that's 1. So I'm actually moving the decimal point one spot uh, to the left. So 8 over 10 as a decimal is going to be 0 0.8. And likewise, if I want to convert this 8 over 10 into a percentage, I'm going to say 8 over 10 multiplied by 100. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing as what we did in part A. We're going to re get rid of that 100, replace it with a 10, get rid of the 10 and replace it with a 1. And so we've got 8 times 10, which equals to 80%. Of course, with the calculator, you can do the same thing, 0 0.8 multiplied by 100, and that's going to give you 80% as well. So looking at question C, question C, we've got 7 over 20. Now, you know, I could have done, if it was 8 over 20, I could have actually done divided by 2, which means I would have got 4 over 10, but I've got 7 over 20 here. So I want to convert the 20 into 100. And because I want to change that 20, the denominator, into 100, I know that 20 times 5 is 100. So I'm going to multiply the denominator by 5 and the numerator by 5. 
and when I do this I am going to get 35 out of 100 so 7 over 20 is equivalent to 35 over 100 now because we've got two zeros there we are going to need to move the decimal point two, sp two spots so what's going to happen is 35 over 100 is going to be 0 0.35 that's as a decimal and if you want it as a percentage you're gonna go 35 over 100 multiplied by 100 and again 100 and 100 cancels out each other and what we're gonna end up with is hang on let's just cancel that out and what we are left with is just 35 percent so folks as you can see I mean with these types of uh, converting between fractions and decimals is fractions and decimals is pretty straightforward because all you're doing is the number divided by it so but when it comes to like any time you want to convert a fraction or a decimal into a percentage just remember you've got to multiply it by 100 and don't forget the percentage sign at the end all right folks that is basically it for this video as always don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content now there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here great material for revision and as always thank you for watching